Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cool. When they go across the screen like that. Oh my god. That was beautiful. Hey guys, welcome to Crawl on Chain for some more Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Today we're going to test out the archers against a bunch of different things from the giant bugs category and the dinosaurs category. Then we'll have some boss fights where we test the archers against the dragons and then my own creations at the very end. Now before I start, I want to give a quick shout out to Lorenzo Stuff, who's been very generous with donations during some of my most recent live streams, including Beast of Bermuda and P.O.T. Today's video is for you, Stuff. I know you had originally subscribed to my channel for ARBs, so I hope you'll enjoy this one. Now let's get to the fun part. All right, we're going to start it off with one giant beetle against one scorpion here. And then the winner of that fight will be fighting against one archer. And then we'll, we'll boost the amount of archers after that. Um, so let's go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, okay, how much HP? Whoa. And the amount, the, the, the difference in score between the two was only five points. The scorpion was 45, the beetle was 50. And the beetle just squished the scorpion like it was nothing. Now we know who's going to be fighting against the archer. Oh, by the way, how do you guys like this little map I made for these battles? I, f I feel like this reminds me a little bit of... It gives me, like, Desolate Pass vibes a little bit. Do you guys agree? Desolate Pass from Path of Titans, of course. All right, so now Team 1 from now on is going to be my archers on the left. And then Team 2 is always going to be whatever the archers are fighting. So now we have one archer against the giant beetle. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> yup. <laughs> kind of expected that. Oh my god, poor archer. He got squished in an area that ugh, I don't even want to mention. Okay, how much HP? Well, yeah, wow. Okay, so these beetles are pretty strong. So let's now... Let's go two archers against these beetles. We now have two archers. <laughs> they started running. That's what's going to get them killed is because they started running instead of firing. Yeah. <laughs> That's almost too easy. All right, let's try again. Let's add one more archer. Basically... They get one shot and then they start running. Oh, they got two shots this time. The other ones are going to get a shot. Yeah. Yeah, they might get it this time. No. Oh, yeah, they did. Woo! Look at the amount of arrows stuck in it. This is so cool. Okay, so three archers were able to take down the bug. Now, I want to try some, some smaller bugs. I want to try ants. So let's keep it at three archers for now. Um, actually, hang on. I have my list of fights I want to do, so let's, let's stick to that. Let's go archers versus spider now. Let's see. We'll keep it at three archers. I want to know how many spiders it's going to take. Uh, to take them down. One spider first. Obviously, the spider is not going to win. But we'll see how many spiders it takes to take down these archers. It's probably going to die very quickly. Yeah, okay. So two, two volleys and it was dead. Oh, that archer is probably dead. <laughs> it's going to get poisoned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's completely poisoned. Okay, so the archer is one. But look at this guy. He 
He's full of rashes from the poison. All right, so I'm guessing three spiders is definitely going to win. Come on, spiders. I'm a big fan of spiders. I have another YouTube channel dedicated to spiders. <laughs> well, dedicated to bugs in general. Oh, yeah. Spiders are winning that one. All right, do we want to know how many archers it would take to take down those three spiders now? Let's give them two more archers. Let's just see what happens instead of trying to guess. Yeah, for sure there was going to be one spider dead in the beginning. Yeah, I think the archers might win this. Oh, yeah, they stopped it just before. Yep, Archer's won with three people alive. Three of them alive. All right, let's move on to the next fight that's on the list here. That would be Archer's versus Ants. I want to see some armies fighting each other. So if I go 5v5, obviously the Archer's are going to win. So we're going to go 5 versus 10. Oh my god, okay, the, the, the ants are gonna win. If one volley wasn't enough to kill even one ant. Alright, we're gonna reduce the amount of ants there. <laughs> that, that was a little bit too much. So that's 50 points versus 50 points. I think the ants might still win. Yep. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Huh. All right. So we're going to have to boost the amount of archers, actually. Eight versus five. Okay. That's one ant dead. If they focus fire, they have a chance. Ooh. It's actually a tight match. There might be enough ants to finish them. What? What are these guys doing? Oh, they were they were getting in position to shoot that one, but then the other ones came. Wow. Okay. This was a lot tighter though, so let's go one more archer. It's nine archers versus five ants. Can the four remaining ants finish them? Oh, it's three actually. Now the archers are way more organized this time. They might not be able to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. All it took was one more archer and it made all the difference. So now the next fight on the list was five archers versus a mantis. That is 140 points versus 50 points. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to put it further just so that they have a little bit yeah, I, I, I don't think the archers win. We'll see how many archers it takes, but I don't think the archers win on that one. I might be wrong, though. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I'm often wrong. <laughs> they even miss... Yeah, these two, they don't have a chance. They can't get a shot. Oh my god, two at once. <laughs> How much HP? Uh, half. Okay. We're going to go one more at a time. See how many archers it takes to take it down. <laughs> one of them tripped. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think one archer... Oh, no, it's two. There's two left. There you go. <laughs> okay, how much HP? Oh, that was close. So I think one more archer. Actually, if that one archer didn't trip in the beginning, there's a chance that even this amount would have won. So let's try again with only six. And if they would stop missing their shots, that would help them a lot. 
Yeah, no, they're... they're this. <laughs> you see, the, the fights, they don't always happen the same way. It was the same amount of archers, none of them tripped, and the Mantis has more HP now. And she's got arrows in her legs? Wow, they were aiming for the legs? <laughs> no wonder they missed so many shots. Look, one there, one there. Let's add one more. It's going to be the last round for Archers versus Mantis. They're aiming for the legs and the, for the, the, the arms. Yeah, I think this one, this one they will win. They got way more shots in, and now the Mantis is struggling to kill that one human. <laughs> she might have won if she didn't spend so much time on just one archer. She might have won that fight. Um, okay, so next fight on the list is five archers versus some raptors. We're gonna start five versus five and we'll go up from there. They only got one volley in. Raptors might actually win this. I did not expect that. There's two Raptors still alive. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> I love it. I want to do it again without the health bars though. The health bars kind of ruin the scenery. Humans won this one. Oh, there was a raptor still alive there. Huh. Huh. Humans got lucky. I want to see those raptors coming in from behind the humans like this. I think I want to start like that. Yeah, I think Raptors might be winning that one. <laughs> That's so cool. The way they grab them and flip. It is so cool. So we're not going to put more Raptors in there. No, I feel like this, this settles it. On the list, it says 10 Archers versus Raptors, but... Okay, well, let's let's boost both teams and let's change to a different species of raptors. Instead of Velociraptors, we're going to go Denonychus. All right, 10 archers versus 5 Denonychus. I feel like the archers are probably going to win round one, but then we'll go up. We'll, we'll increase the amount of Denonychus there. Oh, wow, that, what a jump. What a leap. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cool. When they go across the screen like that. Oh my god. That was beautiful. <laughs> oh wow. So five Denonychus against ten archers, but there's only one left alive, and he's got like two arrows in him. One? One arrow in him. How much HP? Yeah, okay. Let's do let's do three rounds of this. I'm I'm up for three rounds of this. Oh my god, he's got two. He got two. Now we got four four raptors still alive. Insane. I want to see this again. They spent too much time. Oh, wow. They got this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. And that was a dominating victory by the archers. Holy crap. I want to see this again. I want to see it like from maybe this view right here. <laughs> I love that view. <laughs> oh, my God. 
That's beautiful. Oh, he tripped. He tripped his friend. Oh my god. When you don't expect it to happen and it just happens like that. Oh my god. I feel like a little kid. Oh, that's beautiful. Love it. I do not regret going for four rounds on this one. All right, so it's it's Raptors three, humans one. So <clears throat> five archers versus a Spino. I feel like I already know who's gonna win, but I mean, we, we, we never know. Maybe maybe archers could get lucky if if they're smart and they start spreading out. Maybe maybe. And they need to get, like, at least two or three volleys in him from the start. But anyways, we'll see. Let's see what happens here. That's one volley. That's it. One volley. Oh. <laughs> Tossed him. Whee! <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. That view. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Spino wins with, oh wow, half of its HP. So, we definitely need to boost the amount of archers we have here. Two more. Spino might win again. I think he trampled that one. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh my god, I love these close-up shots. How much HP? Oh, wow. Okay, so we'll add one more archer. I feel like, yeah, they're getting a lot more arrows in him. They spread out enough that, okay, well, now that might be the end there. That Spino is probably very close to dead. That's a lot of arrows. A lot of arrows. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next fight will be... We'll start five archers versus a Rex, and we'll go up from there. Same, same kind of matchup, but against the Rex instead. Oh, he's, he doesn't even need to toss them, this guy. Oh, but sometimes he does. <laughs> I guess it's... Ooh, why is he slowing down like that? What's happening? I wonder what's happening. He can go much faster. This might get him killed right there. I don't know what's... The what the AI is doing right now. No idea. Is this guy like... You'll never take me alive! I'm gonna go kill myself. Oh, he might get stuck on a rock there. I do not understand what's going on right now. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a miss. Couple misses. <laughs> oh, this game just went. Oh, yeah? Well, <laughs> okay. We'll add two archers.
Yeah, you see, this this is what's causing some weirdness right there. I think archers might win if the uh, if the Rex keeps this up with every archer. Yeah, no, he's gonna get a few of them right here. It's when they're already running that's causing the the weirdness. He's dealing so much damage with the original impact of his bite that sometimes they die and he doesn't even need to crush them or toss them we're now at nine archers i i forgot to check the amount of hp the rex had though yeah when they split up in two groups like that the, the other group has a chance to shoot him quite a bit oh. <laughs> It's like he's trying to initiate. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> oh, they won! They won! And, like, I think he died just as he was about to eat that guy. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> he was, like, kicking him. After the Rex, it was archers versus swarm bugs now. I think there are six bugs in one nest, so let's try this. Oh, wow, no, it's way more than six. It's the other... It's the other swarmers that have six per nest. Yeah, swarm bugs win. They only managed to kill one. They killed... The five archers killed one of the bugs. We'll add two, because it was a very dominating victory right there. They didn't even shoot once. They didn't even get one volley in, in the beginning. We're going to have to do this again. Yeah, okay, swarm bugs win. They didn't even lose a single one this time. All right, let's try again. Come on, shoot once at least. What are you doing? They arrived too quickly. Okay, so we're gonna need way more archers. <laughs> way more. They can't even shoot once. Now there's 14. Hopefully this can do something. <laughs> they carried one of the humans. Yeah, the, the archers might get a chance this time. Doubling the humans might have been a little bit excessive here. Yeah, the bugs are gonna lose. Because when they're attacking one human, they get shot, yeah. What if I click team two? Oh, it's 13 bugs. 13 per one nest. So now it's 10 versus 13. Oh, they managed to shoot one down. It's like the bugs didn't know who to go for there. They're, they're lifting him up. Oh. The humans are scattering right now, so when they do that, they can't shoot. This is giving the bugs a lot of time to just do their thing. What needs to happen is when, when the group of humans is getting attacked and, and scattering and running away, we need to have more on the outside that are shooting at the bugs. Yeah, um, okay, next fight. Pterosaurs. Six humans this time, just to make it more interesting. Three, four. So it's 64 versus 60. Uh, no, we'll start with three. I feel like four might be too many because they're going to miss a lot of their shots. Let's just go. Let's see what happens. 
They're, they're going very fast. The archers pretty much don't have time to shoot. By the time they aim, they're already impaled. <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay, so we're going to need more archers. Okay, I added two archers. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, the humans barely have a chance to shoot. Alright then, let's add just a ton of humans. <laughs> So let's go. We have 14 humans against three Thursaurs. Yeah, now, now they will get chances to shoot way more. They're so fast. Humans barely have a chance to aim. Oh yeah, some of the Thurisaurs have been hit this time. And they still win. What? Okay, I want to see large-scale battle there. Now, we'll do a few rounds of this just because I feel like this is going to be a spectacular fight right here. Of course, the skeleton had to make an appearance. <laughs> I was going with it. Look at how he's holding this. His bow. No wonder you can't shoot. You can't even hold the bow properly. That's crazy. Okay, let's add more humans. That's 58 humans right now. There's arrows flying everywhere. Oh, now birds are starting to fall. Missing a lot. There's a lot of arrows that just pass by the birds without hitting them. Oh, another bird down. Yeah, they might get it this time. Yeah, two birds left, I think. Birds don't stand a chance now. They're killing more humans. Oh, another bird down. One bird left. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. It's going to get hit at some point. Oh, I thought he was going to die right there, but nope. If he gives them one opportunity, one opportunity. Oh, that could have been the end right there. He's still taking humans down. Yeah, he's still taking more out. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, they finally got him. But that one bird by himself killed, like, I don't know, what, seven or eight more people before he died after he was the only one left? The archers versus the flying aliens now. All right. These are worth 40. I think even three is going to be way too much. But we'll start with that, and then we'll we'll add more archers. Wow, they're even like zigzagging. Yeah, like the, the, the what are they doing? Oh, they. Okay, I was starting to think they can't attack ground units. Yeah, so humans might win because these these aliens are dumb. <laughs> it's like they don't know what they're doing. They're flying in a very random way, so they're hard to hit, but they're not doing anything. They actually managed to kill one. Yep, two. Two down. 
Yeah, okay. So you know what? That's going to be the only round. Look at the amount of archers still alive. Yeah, that, that matchup is definitely archers win. Oh, now we have archers versus dragon. Actually, no, we'll start with 10 archers. That's going to be the new default. We'll start with 10 archers. All right, so I think we have 10 archers versus one dragon. I think we all know who's going to win this. Okay. That was a one pass thing. Okay, so let's just for the fun of it, let's add an army of archers. Look at the amount of humans he can kill with just one volley, one pass. Yeah, that's a problem. He gets stuck in rocks and stuff. Pathfinding is off right now. Oh my god. Alright. That does it for this matchup. The dragon is <laughs> way too good. Alright, so now let's go with more spread out like that. I think I feel like this might give them a little bit more of a chance. I think that's the weakest of my creations. So one Ultimasaur and this one, the Ultimasaur, hang on, is it? Yeah, so all of the multipliers are just at one. It's got 3000 starting HP. I, I, I think just because of all the armor pieces I gave it, that boosts its HP, but every multiplier is the original one. So it doesn't have boosted stats or anything like that. Oh, I wish. I, I hope the tail gets a few of them. Oh, God, that is so close. So close. Grabbed it with his arms, this one. Oh, yeah, he's grabbing some with his arms. <laughs> it's stuck. All right, the ultimate sword is actually, uh, it's actually a beast. Look at that. It's actually a beast. How much HP? Ooh, they almost killed it though. So they hit it with a lot of those arrows. Uh, if I add more archers, so we're just gonna go like round, cause it was so tight like that. We're just gonna go one more round. Yeah, it's when when they get stuck be under under them. That gives the the archers a, a lot of opportunities to shoot. They might actually win this one. Oh, I wish the tail would have hit that one. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Did you see that? He grabbed both. Oh my god, okay, you're a boss, buddy. Yeah, he did even better this time. I want him to swing his tail at them, though. I'm gonna add more archers just to increase the chance of that happening. It's guaranteed that the archers win now because I added four power five of them. Uh, archers are gonna win, no doubt, but I want to see him swing his tail and literally, like, knock them on their butt <laughs> with his tail, or s even see them get stuck to it because it's full of spikes and stuff. I want to see that. Come on, swing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, they got him, though. But he had two of them. Two of them stuck to his tail. There's so many more I want to do now with the Ultimasaur, but it's going to be for another video. Now, this one has way more HP, and he's got attack multipliers and stuff. Um, 
HP multiplier 3, attack multiplier 2, starting HP at 9,000. And he's got a crap ton of weapons. He can use his wings, he can use his, his... He's got like four limbs that he can use to fight. His mouth, he's got horns. Tenebris is a beast. And they took almost nothing. So now we'll, uh, we'll triple the amount of archers. So that's 30 archers versus Tenebris. <laughs> They're stuck to his horns. <laughs> He can attack them from all sides because of his arms and uh, the, the the tentacles on his wings. The tentacles are getting his wings stuck right now, though. But he doesn't care. He's got plenty of weapons. He's even got tentacles on his tail. So if, if the tail gets close enough, the tail will attack them, too. Yeah, he can kill like five or six at a time if he wants to. If there's enough of them. Look at the amount of arrows everywhere. He's full of arrows everywhere. Look at that. Hang on, pause. Look at the amount of arrows everywhere. And he's still alive. I forgot to check its HP though. It's gonna be the last round. Let's see if Tenebris can take on 50 archers. each other so now yeah ten of us has a chance yeah you see the tail killed one there and I think there's one left no yeah but he He's stuck. He could he could shoot. <laughs> he was holding the the bow like all weird. Okay, how much HP? Oh wow! So 50 archers did this much damage. Okay, Tenebris wins. So we'll start with 30 archers because Vitavorin with 60,000 HP is. So this one is an attack uh, HP multiplier of 20. Wow, I didn't remember I did that. But anyway, an, an attack multiplier of three. So basically all of its attacks, he's, he doesn't have any special weapons. All of its attacks is just the bites from the Purosaurus mouths that he has. And then the spikes and then these limbs right here. And then the spikes there on the tail. So that's that's where the damage comes from and all of those weapons are not really that powerful he's got a little bit of armor on the head but aside from that everything else is just regular body parts it's he's really just a tank also him against tenebris is actually a tight match i've seen tenebris win some fights against him and i've seen him win some fights against tenebris they're 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 pretty tight so even though he's got 60,000 hp um he's not like super overpowered it just takes a long time to kill him so let's see how much damage 30 archers can do to this big guy he's also slow so
because he's slow, he's taking a long time to reach them. They have a lot of opportunities to shoot. I've had him fight huge armies before. He, uh... It takes a lot to take him down. It takes a lot. Okay, how much HP? <laughs> they took almost nothing. All right, let's let's try to double it up. Ah, 61. Let's go. <laughs> More than that, it would start to lag a little bit, so... He's big and slow, so he's super easy to hit. So almost every arrow shot at him hits the mark. Yeah, they, they, they might win. They'll do a lot of damage for sure. He's really slow at taking them down. Oh my god. I love it when the tail swipes at them. I don't know if you could kill them by, by tossing that big bone at them. Oh, come on, tail. Oh! What is he doing? There you go. <laughs> I wish that would happen more, though. The tail could kill so many of them. Oh, it just grabbed another one. He's swinging too fast. It's making him lose balance and stuff. There you go. Tail got one. There you go. Tail got two more. <laughs> I think he might win. He's probably going to be really hurt, though. One more. Can you make it, buddy? Look at this big monster coming for you. This is what they saw when they when he came for them. <laughs> so how much HP? Yeah, they they definitely heard him. Look at the amount of arrows everywhere. Wow. All right, so that's going to be the last fight for today. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this new format where I stick to a specific theme for the whole video. I didn't really know how to keep moving forward with this game, which is why I had kind of stopped posting videos of it. But the idea of running with a specific theme for a whole video is now making me want to do more. What do you guys think? I'm also thinking about maybe starting to involve weapons and machines a little bit too, so I would also like to get your opinions on that too. So on that, please share your thoughts in the comments. All feedback is welcome. You guys take care, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.